What's going on guys, Zayd Alpha here with Alpha.com. In this video I want to talk to you about some parts of my pelvic pain recovery journey and why I decided to stop going to pelvic physical therapy and physical therapy altogether. And before I get into the video, I just want to quickly say this is for education purposes only and really to share my personal experience, not to replace any medical advice, nor to cure, treat, or diagnose what you're dealing with. Two is if you're in need of urgent help, some information, a place to start healing, check out the description. There's lots of information there. There's plenty of free resources. And we just relaunched our six week at home pelvic pain relief program. I'm practically giving it away for free. I think we got about 10 more spots left for our first launch. So if you wanna hop onto that, it's ridiculously cheap right now. Not sure it'll stay that way forever. It just depends on how it pans out. So be sure to check it out in the description. With that being said, let's get right into it. So when I first started dealing with pelvic pain symptoms, initially it presented as STI symptoms, got everything tested, everything was fine. Symptoms didn't fully go away after first initial one-time antibiotic dose. So two, three months into it, I decided to do the three-week course of doxycycline. And after I finished that, Again, symptoms did not fully go away. I developed new symptoms that did not exist before, like a lot more symptoms than before. Consulted with a second urologist. He recommended I do three to six months of antibiotics. I told him absolutely not. My gut was already shot. He was kind of he was kind of laughing at me for not wanting to take the antibiotics because of gut health and did not take it seriously whatsoever. I requested to do a CT scan. He barely agreed to do it. I asked him to refer me to a pelvic therapist. Again, he barely agreed to do it and essentially said, it's a great area. Don't get your hopes up. It's probably not gonna help. He was wrong on all accounts. When I first went to see the pelvic PT, it was the only thing that gave me lasting relief because a lot of what I was dealing with was related to pelvic tension had to do with some serious muscular imbalances that I had at the time and was not fully aware of that later got a little worse with weightlifting and intense training. So having the pelvic PT, I was seeing her about twice a month, so once every two weeks. And it was kind of like a timer, like I would see her, symptoms would improve significantly. And by that two week mark, I was sort of at a point where I'm like, I really need to see her again. So that went on for maybe three or four months and every time you know, I would work with her, I was doing my own research. She was teaching me new exercises. I learned how to release trigger points at home much better. And after three to four months, I realized my symptoms were just not improving long-term. I was going back every two weeks with the same problem. Um, things kind of like reduced, but not so much because of what she was doing. It was more so because I learned how to release the trigger points on my own. I was learning how to regulate my nervous system a little better. I was detoxing my gut um, and, and supplementing it with the right things to heal it. So I was doing 90% of the work as most of you should be in this situation. And the, the reason that I kind of stopped seeing her again is that there was no long-term improvement. And there was one specific instance where I went to work with her and she had just acquired her dry needling license, which was really cool. So she was releasing trigger points with her hands, she was using cups, and she would poke the trigger points with the needles, and she would kind of trace where the tension would go. And once she treated the majority of the pelvic area, I immediately started to feel it in my back. And when I told her this, I was like so excited. I was like, oh my God, we're about to like make some progress. And her response was, I'm sorry, I can't work on anything that is not your pelvic area because that's what your form says, that's what you came in here for, that's the diagnosis, there's nothing I can do about it. And at that point, I realized that this was just kind of becoming a dead end because prior to that session, I had been working with a different colleague in her department who was specifically just doing dry needling for different parts of my body and it was kind of having the same effect. It's a hit or miss. Sometimes I feel better the next day. Sometimes I'm just sore. But at the within a week, if not within the same day, a lot of the tension would just come right back. So I knew they were not addressing the root cause of the problem. And when I would ask them di questions about diagnostics, about my posture, they just gave generic advice. Kind of like, you know, like, oh, like, 
you know, do single leg exercises or watch your form when you're training. And I'm not saying any of this to bash them at all. I mean, these people were literally the only hope I had at a time where nobody was giving me help. And had I not talked to them and taken three to six months of antibiotics, I would have been, I don't even wanna think about it. So I am not bashing them. They're amazing people. They're just doing their job within the institution in the best way that they possibly can. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work. So I decided to stop working with her and really any PT at the time. This is not something that I recommend anybody does. If you're considering working with a pelvic therapist, you haven't done so already, I 100% recommend it. If you have a really good physical therapist within your network, someone who does more integrative work, someone who will assess your posture, and you know explain to you how your entire body works together as a system and not just address you know certain points that are painful then i highly recommend you find that person if you don't sign up for that pelvic console at the bottom we can chat and i can help you out now another thing i want to add in real quick is that i gave them a lot of tools and like as as i went along my journey i was learning a lot about why i was in pain in the first place the ct scan i did revealed nothing but i did get an x-ray for my low back and it revealed i had something called a pars defect and essentially the joints on my one of my lumbar discs were missing and when i consulted with a chiro slash physical therapist he said this was likely something i was born with he saw no scar tissue which contradicted what I believed. I thought that I had messed up my back, you know, doing deadlifts, which I know I didn't help it and I definitely injured my hip doing it. But according to this particular professional, he said this was something that's been there for a long time. And so what what that means is that it makes the spine kind of more wiggly and less stable. And my core and my hip complex has to be so much stronger and more stable for that reason to prevent it from moving out of place and from the muscles tugging and pulling in ways that are dysfunctional. And the report that I did, or the x-ray, did show that I had a pars defect. And the technician also added that I had signs of mild scoliosis. And again, he also added, added that it was probably something I was born with. And the wording was just kind of annoying because they were just kind of implying, hey, because you were born with this, it's not a big deal. Like it means that you didn't do it yourself. But they were still not really bringing me a solution. And when I did take these results back to my PT, nothing changed. They still worked on the same trigger points. Kind of like when you go to a chiropractor, you tell them what's going on and they just crack everything. <laughs> and they're like, come back next week or in two weeks. And it's just, there was no, unique custom approach to the problem that I was specifically dealing with. It was just like, hey, this is what the book tells us to do. This is what we have to do. This is what we're going to do. And again, I am not bashing on PTs. I understand that there are, you know, PTs work differently. It just so happened that the ones I worked with were just in a box and that box told them what to do and they just were not able to get out of it. So I stopped going to pelvic therapy. Now, I will add that I had been a personal trainer for a while. I was a yoga instructor for a while. I had a basic understanding of human anatomy, of how muscles work, and I did a lot more coursework in you know, somatic stress release. I learned a lot about breath work, regulating the nervous system, releasing trigger points, and I did end up working with a completely different modality of training that specifically focused on training the body as a system and modeling athletic performance, modeling movements that helped us evolve, you know, that are the most natural ways for our body to move. All things that were just mentioned in my previous studies but were not actually applied. And when I began applying those things, I was able to train without pain. I learned how to properly release trigger points and the pain wouldn't just come back the next day because I was addressing the root cause of the problem. And so, if you're considering working with a pelvic therapist or a PT in general, I highly recommend it regardless. You want as many people on your team as possible. Ideally vet the people that you wanna work with before you commit to working with them and understand that if at any point the person is not giving you what you need and you're not seeing progress, that is not a sign to give up. That doesn't mean that nobody else knows the answers, it just means that this person is not giving you the answers and you need to go find somebody else and you don't stop until you find the answers that fix the problem. And if you've done all of that, 
and you're still not seeing progress, again, sign up for a consult because there are many, many facets and many things that can contribute to it. Be it gut health, be it your nervous system being out of whack, be it poor posture. So there's just multiple things at work here, some of which may apply to you, some of which don't. So bit of a rant video about my personal experience, some of the things that I can offer. So I hope you guys found it helpful. Please let me know what your experience has been working with a pelvic PT. I know some people started working with them and their symptoms were resolved forever. And I am forever happy for those people. It's awesome. We need to see more of their stories. But share what your experience has been working with a PT. Are you working with one now? Are you scared of talking to one? What is going on? Let us know in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mm -hmm.